Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and this is the Acer Aspire 3 laptop uh, which comes with Windows 10 but recently with Windows 10 update it has some issues with the Wi-Fi so Wi-Fi isn't working properly so in this video we are going to format this device i will give you tips to format so we are currently taking the full backup of this laptop you can take it on pen drive or hard drive or you can do just set up like us which we are taking the backup on the nas drive so this is a much better alternative so you can keep all your backup safe otherwise you can have this pen drive or hard drive so once you format this we will set this up we will reset the pc we'll give you some tips to install the apps quickly as well as some windows privacy settings so let's start so once you are backed up just go to the settings go in the update and security in the update and security tab you go to recovery in the recovery you will get the first option as reset this pc So basically, it tells if your PC is not running well, you have to format it, and this is normal with Windows. And I used to format my Windows every six months, so that's with Windows. So let's format this PC right now. We will choose to remove everything. This is the best way to do it. Otherwise, it's a useless thing if you keep all your files. Malware might be there, so just remove your files. This is quicker but less secure. Click next. So this will keep all the drivers. it will reset to the primary state and then we'll ask you to restore everything so now it's starting to reset and do know that this whole process might take more than 8 hours or even day because uh some PCs are very slow some PCs are very fast and windows take a lot time to back up so this took me like half an hour to get this point i'm just skipping this video so that for you you can Watch for things that gonna come next. It's not necessary. You have to set to the computer all day long. You just click on reset, and it will do everything. So, getting Windows ready. Don't turn off your computer, and don't turn off your computer at all. Don't just plug out the charging cable. Keep it charging, and just don't turn off. Most people do the mistakes that they think the Windows has stopped, so they restart during this point. If you do this, you are basically spoiling your laptop. So now Cortana installation will start. Okay, so now the actual process has started for installing Windows. So select your region. For me, it's India. I will select India and click Yes. Now this is the installation process. First, we follow the reset process. So Windows is going to reinstall, or all the drivers going to be reinstalled. This might take even more twenty minutes, twenty to thirty minutes, depending upon your internet connection. So let's select the keyboard layout. I uh, would like to keep it as English India. Hit Yes. And I don't want to add a secondary keyboard layout, so I will select now. And this just a moment; they're gonna take eternity. I'm skipping for you. So now you have to connect to the Wi-Fi network, or you can connect through Ethernet port. So let's connect to my two gigahertz Wi-Fi. Let's enter the security key, and now it will ask you whether you want to share network devices. And if you have other devices on the network from which you want to exchange data, you have to click yes. Otherwise, no. And actually, technically, Windows should detect the update, but it didn't, and it gave me the Windows 10 license agreement. So let's read it and accept. It. just a moment so now sign in with the microsoft account you will be surprised there is no local account sign in but the pro tip here is that just disable your wifi or type the wrong email address and here you get you get the local pc login here so just ensure you use the local pc login so that all the data is not synced in the background 
so we have done the local login and we don't want digital assistant for Tana so we're gonna decline it so privacy settings disable everything except location this is what I recommend and we're gonna do some more privacy settings so stay tuned for that so we're gonna disable advertising ID inking and typing tailored experiences and this is some of the services that they are using there's tons of them which gonna disable data things to be polished just a moment another time now your PC will restart just don't turn off your PC keep it plugged in during the whole process we are getting everything ready for you so welcome to Windows so many possibilities so I have booted now you have the edge with all these ads and articles out there uh, in the boot up why someone needs ads in the boot up so you, there, you, there you have it but this is not the latest version of windows so this is why because it reset it to the version of windows the laptop came in so now the first step we are gonna do is go to the settings go to the update and security and make sure we update the device so this is a crucial step just don't start installing apps because once you install the apps then there will be an update then update will overlap the apps then apps will update so it, it becomes mess so it's better you start fresh with the updates so we're gonna go to settings update and security and we click uh, check for updates so now it will download all the updates and this gonna take really long so the first day went to the reset and the process the second day gonna go for this updates and stuff and then at the end of the second day you can re restore your everything okay so sadly update didn't happen uh, I got an error during the update and it just rolled back the whole update uh, now solution to this is number one go to the control panel and click on uninstall updates and just select uninstall button now I have already uninstalled the updates so I'm not getting the button and some updates can't be uninstalled so once you do this reboot and then try to update again if it still doesn't happen the best solution is go to the Google and go to this website of Microsoft where you get the Windows 10 upgrade assist now do know that this is a risky process it's gonna download the whole image and install directly the better way for this is to do from the pen drive or a bootable CD but this also works so update to the latest version of Windows 10 we're gonna click next as you can see it was compatible but it was not working with Windows settings so we have downloaded Microsoft official app to do this so I have skipped everything your update is ready and this gonna again take several hours so let's restart and after restarting we'll be right back to the latest version of Windows 1909 so the first thing once Windows is installed I would like to install ONO shut up 10 now this app is a privacy security app which disables all the telemetry data that Windows eats so it's an anti spy tool which will disable all the Windows settings that affect your privacy as well as it will disable things which makes your PC slower so this is what the first I do and do know that once you install updates this is going to be overwritten so just rerun the file and there you go so I am saving the file so that I can rerun later if required but now we have already updated so we are on the edge so running the security scan and here you can see all you have to do is just click on actions tab and click on apply recommended settings so once you click on apply recommended settings this red buttons will turn to green as you can see and will disable all the anti-phishing tools and your privacy won't be breached the best solution to this is to switch to Linux but still you are secure now the second thing I would like to is to install all apps so just use Ninite Ninite is a great solution to download all your apps at once 
So instead of searching for say Google Chrome, then searching for Firefox and then have its all in own installer, updater, it just runs in background, it is a mess. Here you just select the apps you want. So I'm selecting VLCs, Zoom, Chrome, and you also have Spotify, and almost all your favorite apps is here, as well as open source apps are also here, which is just amazing. And the benefit of this is, you have to just install it once, click yes, and it will install all your apps automatically. So no next or license agreement, or if once one license agreement of Nenight, there you go just download and run and next time when you run the night it will also update your apps also you can update to the knee night pro which has more great features so we have downloaded and we are gonna just save and run the file and the file is also very less they will download after the installation is run so it's more secure and updated so there you go, all apps have been installed and all PC set up. Now just restore the data and you are good to go. Fresh startup PC. Hope your problems are solved. Mine didn't. Wi-Fi has still some issues but it's currently working as you can see Wi-Fi is connected. As well as the Neonight install apps like Google Chrome is starting. And as you can see there is no installation window. It just starts welcome to Chrome. And the apps are also nice and they are loading it. Now this is of course lower end PC with the uh, AMD dual core processor uh, as well as uh, AMD internal graphics and just 4 gigs of RAM plus hard drive. So the process was a little bit slower on this side but if, ha if you have an SSD the process is going to be really really fast. So hit next. Now I would like to just set all my default apps. So I will change the browser to Chrome. I will change the mail to Blue Mail. As you can see Windows is slow so that's the reason why I moved to Linux. You can watch that video. So hit Google Chrome and uh, it is asking me to try Microsoft Edge. No thank you. Switch anyway. And switch anyway button is hided as you can see it's small. It's crazy. It's not big as blue. This Windows thinks. And I would like to set video as VLC media player. It's just fast and slow it. And it runs all type of files. So VLC media player is my favorite tool. So I just set it up. Now I would like to uninstall all the bloatware that comes in. So I will uninstall Microsoft News, Microsoft Solitaire and all apps that I don't recommend it. So we are going to follow this amazing article from Chris Titus Tech which enables security update on Windows 10. So you won't get that buggy feature update, you only get security updates and only once a year you get the feature update which is just dope. All you have to do is just press start R and type regit, R-E-G-E-T-I-T. -E uh, hit yes if it asks for permissions and you get this registry editor. Now just follow the steps in the article, I will leave all the links in the description as well as I am showing you on the screen. So go to software, go to Microsoft and now you have to go to the uh, Windows update. And this is for home users, for pro users is a little bit different but I am not showing right now, you can just follow that article. So let's go to Windows and the Windows go to UX and it will be I think down. So Windows update, Windows UX, uh, there is at last UX and here you go to UX settings. Uh, now you have to change three things which is branch readliness level as you can see branch readliness level and we should set it to 20. So let's find branch readliness there you go. We right click it, we click modify. Now choose decimal and input the value as 20. Hit OK. Now default feature updates 365 days as we have to just want once a year, which means it will be more stable and you won't be the tester for enterprise customers. So hit 365, click yes. Now default quality updates. 
and we will set four days so that every week we get the security update hit decimal and I again type 4 it's better to first click decimal then click 4 and hit ok there you go you have all set now you just restart the windows in voila you will get only security updates and once a year you get the feature updates which makes it very nice this is a nice article you can follow I will leave all the links in the description below so make sure to follow it along uh, now you also have to set change active hours so definitely when you're working set that time and it is a 12 uh, this is a 24 hour format so don't set a 7 hour format it will be wrong otherwise it will just go back to default so I will keep a journal timing where this PC is busy so that it won't update at that time and after that it will automatically update there you go you have done the whole set now another article is off from a website uh, which will give you some tips so thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now